you this month our prompt for my year 2017 is favorites um, you of course could take that in a lot of different ways I chose to think about that as favorite things in my life rather than favorite physical things the obvious thing I could have done is favorite art supplies um, I have lots of favorite art supplies and I just love art so that would be easy and difficult at the same time to to work out um, but I thought it would be more interesting if I created some more free illustrations for you all and actually some of these are really cute and they may come out in the 2018 stamp design line so look for that because some of these turned out really cute um, and use these little illustrations to um, put in my section for October this year um, to really write about and illustrate my favorite things in life so um, I printed each one of the illustrations in a small size um, on a piece of cardstock. I did six to a page, um, so I have plenty of extras should I screw up or to share in Happy Mail or something like that. Um, and I have mine sitting here, so I'm going to fussy cut them out. Um, this first one is I need some I need some glasses before these are little. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's better. Okay, this first one is a dinner plate and fork. Let me let me zoom in so you can see. This first one is a dinner plate and fork. And I'm going to cut it out close to the line of the image. I'm not worried if there's a little bit of white space and getting it exactly. Um, and as I'm cutting these out, I'll talk to you about each one of them. So this first one is a dinner plate and fork, and it was honestly the very first one I thought of. Because next to art... I really love food. I love sharing a good meal with friends and family. I do like, I used to like cooking more than I do now. Um, I think that's just age and menopause, but I do, I do enjoy cooking, not as much as art. Um, but mostly what I enjoy is we have once a week, oops, where are we? We have once a week um, our daughter and her boyfriend over for dinner and we have a family dinner and I love that. So for me this dinner plate um, um, illustrates in a visual way um, the enjoyment of a good meal with friends and family um, as often as possible. The talk, the conversation, I love that. So we have that. Oops. Okay. And then the next one is a variation on a theme. So uh, some of you youngsters might not know what that is. It's a telephone. <laughs> That's not, my grandmother actually had one like that. Um, so this is a telephone, a ro old fashioned rotary phone, no push buttons. But anyway, for me, it illustrates um, really my enjoyment uh, that I get out of weekly daily conversations with friends and family, really, you know, keeping in touch with people. It's one thing to message people on the internet. It's a whole other thing to actually talk to people. I, you know, there is nothing um, that's honestly more enjoyable than sitting and having a good conversation with somebody, um, especially somebody that you can trust and you care about. And I love that. And when we have weekly art chat conversations with friends, um, that I have met and made with some of you here in this group um, over Zoom, and those are really fun to have. Most of us are home alone during the day, and you know it's nice to know that we're not the only ones out there. So um, I'm gonna cut this out again. I'm not too concerned if I am not exactly, um, you know, super close to the line. I just want to be kind of close. If these were rubber stamps, like for next year, I could really see using these in a bunch of stuff. So there we're going to have our telephone. Um, the next one are a pair of feet. I like that you love the feet. So I really love walking. I love going for a good walk. I love walking in nature. Um, I'm not a super big fan about getting sweaty. I know those two things kind of don't go together, but um, I love, you know, going down to the beach and going for a nice long walk. Um, we have a couple places that are near home that we like to go hiking. And I, um, you know, I love it. And I will go until my asthma gets the better of me. Um, I do bring my inhaler when I go. Um, if I can't just manage to get out anywhere, 
I get on the treadmill. I, I do have a treadmill here at the house. Um, it's not an expensive one, but that's okay. It was a gift from a friend. And I love to just get out there, you know, turn everything off, put a book on the treadmill, and just walk. Uh, put some music on and just walk. So I love that. So the feet for the, me represent that. Um, of course, art. Art, art journaling, writing. Actually, I enjoy more than I thought I would. So I created this little pad of paper with a pencil and a paintbrush. Um, I love that. So we're going to cut that out. And again, these little illustrations are free. Um, you can print them and of course make them much bigger than I did if you so choose. You could print them on stickers. Um, if you have a scan and cut you could probably do that and then scan them and then have it scan them and cut them out. Okay. And then the last one are just nature and flowers. I love I've said this already. I love being out in nature. I love the inspiration that you get from it. Um, I love being at the beach. Um, I love taking pictures of beautiful flowers when we're out, even when we're just like out at the shopping mall. Um, if they have any kind of pretty flowers, I'm there grabbing my camera on my phone and taking pictures. And the family is used to, you know, me kind of like losing them a little bit because I've stopped somewhere to take a picture of something. Um, that's it's pretty normal, to be honest. I think they're well and used to it by now. Um, Sometimes it embarrasses them, but most of the time they just, they don't care. Um, you could just, of course, cut this out in a circle, but I kind of want some of the detail of the petals on here. I love sunflowers in particular. They're really big ones. They're so beautiful. I haven't grown any in a long time, and I probably have old seed around here somewhere. It's probably old and past it, but I'm thinking this spring about maybe planting them in the back garden. If I can keep the dog out of it and the local squirrels and stuff from eating the seeds. So I'm just going to spend some time. You could definitely do this, turn on some music. Um, you could color these. These, of course, are black and white illustrations. You could color them and then put them down. I'm going to leave them, I think, black and white. Uh, I want you to think of what your favorite things are in life and art. I want you to write about them, create art about them, um, illustrate them in your journal this month. It's really easy to focus on the things you don't like, but this month I want you to let that go. And I want you to focus on those things you do like, those favorite things. The things that truly bring you joy. And if you have things in your life that don't bring you joy and that are really holding you back, maybe rethink them. I'm no expert. My life is not perfect. And I don't claim to be. And there's lots of people out there with serious, serious issues that they can't help and they can't fix. But if you can, maybe you should. So I am going to put all these in and I'm going to do some journaling and that's going to be one of the things I do for this month. I love the way that looks. I might just have to, like, you know, I think that's really cool. So I'm going to do that and I will post a picture here at the end when I get it done. Think about what your favorite things are. If they're some of the similar ones to mine, then you have access to the, these five illustrations and... I hope that um, if you're not a part of the My Year 2017 Facebook group or the new one we're going to have for 2018, that you think about joining us. Both links for both groups are in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. There's a link to my tip jar if you want to support the free content here on Facebook. I mean on YouTube or uh, what we supply on Facebook. And um, along with a link to a site called Linktree. And if you go there, there's all my social media links are there, my website and everything. I can't hide anymore. <laughs> my uh, happy mail address is also in the video description. Um, so check out that description before you leave. If I've forgotten anything or you have a question, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.